Hello and welcome to my show, TikTok, where we talk about what makes successful people tick and what it took for them to pursue their passions, follow their dreams, and achieve their goals. Our guest today is a woman who has always lived life on her own terms and not according to any societal expectations or for Instagram, and is not afraid to speak her mind about her life choices or beliefs either. I admire her because she's so self-aware self-fulfilled and self-reliant. She's one of the most respected actresses in Philippine cinema, having appeared in over 30 films and 50 TV shows in the last 24 years. Please welcome award-winning actress, organic farmer, surfer, and activist, Miss Mylene Dizon. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. 30 films? 50 shows na ba? Binilang ko. Yung ano mo, IMDB. O, oh, ba? Wow. Bilis, wow. no? Parang kahapon lang nung, ano, nag-cover ka ng Cosmo in the year 2000. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. It's right. Just, just before you were gonna launch Gata sa Dibdib ng Kaaway. O, ba? <laughs> oh my God. And the second one living. with the second one that I worked with you was before I got pregnant with Tomas. Oh my gosh. And in my uh sa aking pananaliksik, I found an article about the first Cosmo Bachelor Bash in Dish <laughs> featuring one of the centerfolds, Paula Paraiso, and one of the celebrity guests, Mylin Dizon. <laughs> wild time, wild. The, wild, diba? Doon ba kayo nag-meet? <laughs> yes! Oh my God! And you won him in the auction. But that's another story. <laughs> and cheap people talaga. Pero saya. Ang saya, saya. How are you? You're looking fresh kahit na... You're claiming na malapot ka dahil sa kakawap. Lapot, malapot, lapot. Lapot. <laughs> lapot. <laughs> Nakala ko malapot. Ano yung lapot? Ano yung lapot? You're, you're, you're sweaty oh, and really uh, dirty uh-huh. because you're not. Uh, we are, right now, we are busy uh, ex- uh, repacking and packaging and and, and, and sending out um, Relief all goods. our donations for the right. victim services. And when you say we, you mean uh, actor, right? Yes, our organization actor. So nagbuo kami. This was um, uh, initiated this by Miss Angel Luxin. So tuloy tuloy siya. We are on our fourth day, and okay. we've reached. Yeah, we've sent already um, uh, goods to Marikina to Rizal. Now we're working on Tagayan. Wow! So star studded bang mga Packer. Yes. Sa- <laughs> <laughs> uh, my first day because I was, um, I just got out of my lock-in taping. No, right. Sabado ng gabi. Saturday night I got out and then Sunday right. I spent my, um, the, the, the day with my family. Tapos ngayong Monday, uh, yan, nandito naman ako nag-volunteer work naman ako. This is their fourth day. So, nandito si Naagot the other day daw. Uh, marami. Uh, it, right. Oh, Marlon Rivera is Marlon oh. Rivera. Days na si Derek. Nandiyan. Wow, wow. Days na. Ria Ataide is here now. Angel is here now. Ding Dong. Paolo was here. Paolo Paraiso. Wow. Mamayang gabi, si Naiza are coming also Thank to help. you. Thank you for doing that. How can people help? Can they oh. send their donations? Yes. Well, right now, kasi para ang dami kasing dumating na donations na in kind. And, you know, it really takes a lot of time to pack them. To, you right, know, to, right. So, sa ngayong araw na ito, ito na mag-stop na kaming kumuha ng donations na in kind. But yung cash donations nila, right. uh, they can send it to us. Uh, it's on my Instagram account, all the details, the bank details. Right. My, Instagram is Miss Mylene Dizon, or they can go to the Facebook account of Actor, which is Actor Peach, and all the details are there naman. So, mas kailangan yung, mas, madganda, mas madali kasi yung pera eh. Right. Yeah, because we can buy, let's say, um, let's say rice, you know, mabibigay right, mo right. Yung, or yung nakapack na siya, hindi ka na yung 
medyo right. backing work pala ito kasing repacking, right. having to carry them in and then out right. again. So, yeah. Right. Right. So are you're very active in actor? Are you an officer or yes, Okay. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm part of the board. I am the finance head. Okay. Wow. And uh how is it so far? I mean, when what when did you start it? A few months ago lang, ba? Yeah, well. Uh, kailan ba yung official na umpisa nito? February was it? I don't know. Just right. ito, pandemic lang it was more not right. event so yun right okay right. we're we're doing well uh we are um we're really focused on this right now because we really want to be able to uh represent the actors properly um right all working actors at saka hindi lang ito TV. we're not just uh, working with tv actors or movie actors but these stage actors kasama dito okay. and not just in metro manila but in other parts of the Philippines as well. Meron kaming mga partners na regional, kumbaga. Wax. Regional. Wow. Wow. So, yeah, we so want to everybody. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, we want to include everybody, not just the ones who are working here in Metro Manila. Right. And what's your uh, ultimate goal or your long-range goal? Uh, wow. Marami. Actually, ang pinaka pinaka goal namin is to have our own building where we can have all the departments there and all the actors we want all the actors to be part of this organization talaga kasi right. kailangan makapag move as one you know hindi yung right. butak kailangan unified kami right so you said you're back from your lock in taping in from San Mateo yes yeah, San Mateo so uh -oh. When Ulysses happened and uh, San Mateo was hit, it was just right outside where we were taping. Wow, what was that like? So binabagyo yung, binagyo yung taping niyo? Binagyo kami, but kami hindi kami binaha. Pero hindi ako makatulog because I was on my phone. I was um, monitoring the news because um, for my, uh, kasi yung mga bata nasa bahay eh. And then right. I didn't sleep because I knew that right outside where we were. Right. So many kids, so many families were. It was heartbreaking. They were asking for help. I could. I was. I was on um, DZMM's Facebook account, and I was listening to the news. And you could see, patulong po. Can you help us, please? Nandito oh my gosh! And I'm just like, I'm in San Mateo. Right. And you want to rush out and you want to help, but you're like, what am I gonna do? Right, right, right. It was. It was that's why we couldn't. I couldn't sleep. Right. And, and how but, long were you locked in? 23 days. Oh my gosh. So 23 days away from your family. Yes. Yes. Wow. Wow. And what was it like? I heard that you were very excited to work with Ate Guy. Ate Guy, diba? Uh, what was it like in the beginning? It was fun, diba? Yung parang you're excited. But I realized that I can only do it pala for two weeks. But well, actually, wow. not me, but other people can. Hanggang two weeks lang. Because after that, you're just like, Medyo na nyonyuro ka na na parang I want to get out of Hello. here. I want to get wow. home. I want, I want to cook for my family. And, right. and also slowing down. The work right. pace slows down after two weeks. Right. But after that, after finishing all our scenes, after 23 days, you're just like, nag-umpisa naman yung sepanks. Now we've got se ano, may, sepa may separation anxiety ka naman from the people that you... Talaga? Oo, yung parang... O, paano na? Makikita po tayo pagkatapos ito. Oh. And you all, kasi after that, you know, eh, you do your exit swab. You know, just oh, to make sure that okay. when you go to your family, you don't have the virus because we've heard right. of cases wherein, you know, they contact it right in the middle of the shoot. Right, so you, right. Diba? So when we all realized, when we all found out that we're all negative, now we can hug, right? Oh, now oh. you hug. Oh. <laughs> So I'm up for 23 days, day and night, oh morning, breakfast, to dinner, and uh, suddenly, magiwalay na tayo. Wow. <laughs> so, Sepanx is real. Sepanx is real. So, first, you're missing your family and you want to go home. And you're supposed and to be excited to go home. And then, now that it's time, time to go home, you're not sure if you want to go home. <laughs> right. So, what was the, what's your greatest takeaway from working with Nora Onor? 
na siya talaga ang tunay na superstar. Wow. <laughs> Because she's he's so generous. She's she's so good. She doesn't wow. have to do much. And right wow. away you find yourself watching her. Kasi wow. Kaling, and then yeah, it's really uh, uh um realizing that uh, even if nung nagtumpisa ako ng 1996 magartista i'm just ang layo 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 ko wow ta- talaga talaga tinuruan ka naman niya when you say generous did she give you tips or no she not tips it's just that when she acts you ah. you can act with her not yung parang you don't get anything from her right. that for me is acting when it's generous it means you can oh there's there's um there's interaction there's there you oh, okay. you Oh, um, you emotion feed, from her. Feed off, I watch her. Feed off her emotions. Yes, there you go. That's it. That, those are the right. Yeah, yan yon. Uh, so in the in the yeah, she's not selfish at all. Wow. And I heard that a big reason for you saying yes to this job is because you got to work with her. Yeah. Wow. I mean, it doesn't happen all the time that we get offered uh, ganitong classing role and uh, na may kasamang atigay. Wow! So, wow! So when is this? Know. When is this gonna be showing? December, I think. Oh, uh, because we we had this. Ano na eh, Before pandemic, we were airing already. Oh, we seven weeks worth of work. So okay. what we're going to do in December is that uh, we're going to um, show again the seventh week. Okay. Uh, it replay yung last na in air. Uh-uh. Tapos uh-uh. Itutuloy lang. So, yeah. Wow. And uh, are you still in that state of mind where you've been saying no to work because you want to spend more time with your kids? Yeah. Or not anymore? Yes, yes. I am. Yes. I am. I am. Uh, Tomas is 15. Lucas is 11. Um, Tomas will go to off to college soon. Oh, that's right. And I right but but see now but, this lock in lock in thing we can you know that you can finish your work right a month's time right and then after one month pwede ka na mag off ng tatlong oh, oh. parang oh, pwede oh. naman oh, oh. Yeah. so you think well, go ahead the reason the reason naman before why i was uh i didn't want to work anymore or really choosing my projects was you work three times a day. Okay, let's say Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and you're super duper tired. And the following day, Tuesday, Thursday, is sun Saturday, you're so pagod. Right. You don't get to really spend time with the boys or do anything with the boys because you're so tired and you have to recharge again for the following day's work. Right. But if I'm able to do everything in a month, every day, right. Non okay na. I think yun gusto ko yun. Right. So, sana mag-streamline din ang mga scheduling na more efficiently, di ba? Yeah, For well, the jobs. Have, kailangan. Uh-oh. We're forced, they're forced to make it maayos talaga and more efficient. Right. So, is that why you move to Cavite also? Para medyo mag-mellow down ang <laughs> lifestyle? No? No, <laughs> no? <laughs> no that Ay, was... Ba? Hindi. Na in the babo ko kaya ako nasa Cavite. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Speaking of. <laughs> so, 7 years na kayo. <laughs> 7 year itch, no just kidding. Wala, we're still so kilig. It's so Oh weird. my gosh. Oh, well. Is this the longest? Yeah. Wow, congrats. <laughs> right. And I was telling you earlier, tawang-tawa ako dun sa mga interviews mo on YouTube. Kasi lahat ng magtanong about your relationship with Jason, pinipiyad kayong magpakasal. Oo. <laughs> Para every single one. And even challenging, bakit di ka naniniwala sa kasal? Bakit may traumatic bang nangyari nung childhood? Oo, oh, diba? Intrigero at intrigero talaga yung mga <laughs> Pinipiyad ka talaga. And ikaw naman, ang galing mong mag... Uh, 
magpadaplis or sumagot down to alam mo nung bata ko lahat ng Barbie ko single walang nag-asawa sa kanila tsaka hindi ko pinangarap maging bride walking down the aisle these things are true i know nakakatawa and i admire you for really like you know it's easier to pretend right it's easier to give the showbiz answer na hindi natin alam malay mo someday pero ako talagang no, it's complicated. I do not lie. I'm sorry. I, do not lie. I have a hard time lying. So I, I I decided on that a long time ago. That I'm oh wow. Wow. No, that I'm not going to lie anymore. I'm not going to lie about any of these things because I I won't be able to sustain it. <laughs> you can't keep track of the lies. Diba magkamali, magkapalit, magkaiba-iba pa yung mga pagsisinungaling ko. Tama. Hindi ako Pwede pang mag-google ngayon, di ba? Oo, di ba? Ay, sinungaling siya, o. Oh. Pwede ma-verify ngayon, eh. <laughs> Kailan mo yun dinicide? At dahil ba, were you asked to lie? For example, like, di ba in showbiz, everybody pretends to be virgins or <laughs> pretends to, you know, be innocent. <laughs> Tend to be virgin. <laughs> I mean, not just showbiz, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, true. it's it's 2020. And when did we launch Cosmo? 1997. <laughs> Hanggang ngayon, people are still pretending and lying. But I admire you because, like you said, early on, you decided not to lie. Where do you get this uh, tapang na, bahala kayo, I'm just gonna tell the truth. Bahala ko ang anong mangyari. I'm sure you were asked before early in your career na dapat ganito, dapat ganyan, ang image, ang image. Were you yeah. or were you not? Maybe that's where it came from. Maybe because I don't want to play that game. I never wanted to yeah. play that Um, I never agreed. Pag nakakita ko ng ganun, siyong sinungaling. I don't want to be <laughs> mapagsabihan na sinungaling yan. Right, diba? right. Nice and right. I like to and it's easy. It's it's just far too too much work to have right. to make up a cuento about yourself. It's easier just to tell them the truth about yourself, and I think it's a little bit more interesting. Right. And uh, when you decided to do this, was it hard for your career? Because as we know, deba part of stardom or superstardom entails the building of an image. And then I read in. I, I think you have an interview from 2000 with Ricky Lopa, di ba? And then you said, minsan inisip mo sana naging Judy Ann Santos ako or Julina Magdangal na superstar. But then natanggap mo na na hindi. Was it like hard in the beginning? There's a pre there's that pressure, of course, right. to become that, especially when you're friends with them, right? right. And then you see... You don't see yourself doing the things that they do. Right. And you're just like, I don't want to be like that. Or I don't right. want to live like that. Right. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with it. It's just right, that I right. it's not right. I can't, I can't, I can't do that. Yung hindi na ako matutulog. I'm just like, ano, hindi na ako makakagimik, hindi ako makakapag-clubbing. Kasi ako, <laughs> why? Ano na lang. <laughs> eh sila kasi noon, grabe sila eh. Like Juday, halos hindi umuwi si Juday. It's like move um and yon, one shoot, one location after the other lang and they only sleep in the car. Wow. Sabi ko hindi. Wow. Gusto. It's really not for me. Right. So, and 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 when 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 I was offered to do contrabida, I said, "Oh, Nga pala, no? Pwede pa pala maging kontrabida. Ay, kala ko dati kasi, you know, you everybody's by, everybody wants to be the bida or um, the be the good guy. Right. Masaya nga pala yung kontrabida nga pala, no? Right. So when, that was off, when, when it was offered to me, my first kontrabida role was um, sa dulo ng walang hanggan, ag, um, ang bida was Claudine Barreto. Right. I like. I think that's okay. interesting. So yun. Okay. So may ano ka, alternative career path. At, at saka you're not pressured to be okay. a star or the bida. There's no pressure. Right. It was more fun. 
Right. So you can do with it. So did you get typecast as a contrabida for a while? Uh, I was getting a lot of contrabida roles, yes. But typecast, hindi yata. Hindi ko naramdaman. Okay. Hindi ko siya naramdaman. Like, like sina Gladys Reyes kasi. That's it. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Ako hindi. Eh, because I would do, mga yan, halimbawa, sa ga I would do gatas pa rin. Right. Which, which was um, not naman kontrabida. Uh, yun, I was doing a lot of things. Eh. Tapos meron pa akong comedy show. I was, in, right. I was doing, super, I did super laugh-in kasi. So parang, Dami ko naman ginagawa eh. So, hindi typecast. Right. Okay, that's good. Kasi minsan may tendency na ma-typecast, di ba? Or, or may tendency rin siguro na uh, yung roles for women just follow a certain mold, di ba? Yes. Which is, which is why it's, it's very good na now that you're in your 40s and also your contemporaries, parang nag-open up yung kinds of roles na available to you guys. Ano ba po? Sandali, sandali. Yung computer mo. Teka, teka, sorry. The computer of the other person. Tanggihan, tanggihan. Okay, there. Sorry, sorry. Ano ba to? Mute ko yung kanyang tele, yung kanyang, ano, kanyang laptop. Okay, sorry. Um, uh, sorry, what was your question? Yeah, I was saying na, ano, parang in the past, if you were a woman in your 40s, ang role mo lang ay, Nanay. Contributing nanay or martyr na nanay or basta laging nanay. And then now, suddenly, sunod-sunod yung mga, parang nag-open up yung mga roles. And hindi, masya, hindi na masyadong one-dimensional na either mabait na nanay or masama na nanay. Di ba? Meron ng mga cougar. Like what I did! Yung yes! Why a film! Correct. A fair bill. So yeah, right. Diba? right. So in in that role, sa uh, Belle de Lure. De Lure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Belle de Lure. <laughs> so uh, what attracted you to the role? Well, besides, of course, uh, diba, it's like the role of a lifetime. How do you think you help, like, break ground in terms of the perception of women of your age? Well, I'm not sure if I was able to break any ground. I think you were. <laughs> <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I think, you know, our society is quite closeta. Yes, diba? correct. Closeta tayo eh. So, ang closeta hindi mo pwedeng binibigla. Oh, kailangan no. na, ang coming out party niyan pa konti konti kay, kay okay. ano muna kay kuya mo muna o kaya kay ate muna <laughs> ganoon diba okay. um, so yeah uh, we, when we do movies like this or like Belle Dolor or projects like such you're slowly inching you know your the identity of women changing it little by little not just right. but very little through entertainment it's not like i'm not saying that we we need to change no actually right. i'm saying that we do need to change our perception sometimes um so yeah when you you're able to inch your way medyo tinatanggap nila pag nagiging common na yung usapan halimbawa okay. before yung usapang bakla uh -huh. uh, pag uh, anak ni ganito dati parang ay bakla uh -huh. Because now we've oh, the the society is right. open its doors to um them the 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 mga badings. Parang ngayon okay na, kasi pa konti konti. Right, right, so, right, right. Uh, right. I I suppose there was a we did have our, our share our contribution. Right. Okay. Right, okay. and and then suddenly <laughs> after Angel Aquino and Glorious, and then you now Isa Calzado has uh -oh. called me. Call me Emily, so parang sunod sunod. Yeah. Actually, meron so, pang Ann Curtis. Ah, atama yung with Marco Gumabaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. hindi ko na panood yun eh. Pero yun, may Ann Curtis pa. So, hmm. Di ba? Right. And then, and then yung, uh, okay. pag naging often yung usapan, parang suddenly uh, it's okay. Because it does happen and it's real. It's not, true. hindi naman siya gawain, hindi naman siya ginawa ng alien. <laughs> Hango po sa totoong buhay. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Nangyayari. Uh, eh, just 10 years ago, di ba, sunod-sunod yung kabit movies. 
Oo. Di ba? Paano yung mga sunod-sunod na puro Oo. kabit movie? Yan ang medyo, <laughs> doon ako medyo teka muna. Di ba? Kasi parang nag-glorify na yata yung mga kabit. <laughs> So at least ngayon, iba naman. And also, like in Call Me Tita, you had a kissing scene with I Segera. Yes. Which is all, I think, very groundbreaking, di ba? In terms of uh, normalizing such situations uh -oh. and preferences. And it's it's good for all older women and not just the older women, but Pinay's in general. So in your own... Go ahead. Parang, parang ano, hindi porke you're 40, 40 something. Right. It ends. Right. Your ends. It doesn't end. Right. Yours is just beginning, di ba? <laughs> Ito also so, like being at 40. Eh? <laughs> how does it feel to be in your mid 40s? Like, di ba? Parang kailan lang nga, club scene fixture ka, di ba? Party. <laughs> I love it. I am so loving this. I'm loving my lines. I'm loving my wrinkles. I'm loving the things that I can do now. Like what? Because Garden. I can afford it now. <laughs> but you can what? Because I can afford it now. Oh, Kasi okay. you mo ng matagal na panahon and finally, ayun na, na-appreciate mo na yung mga um, nagagawa mo na yung mga things that you've always wanted to do, the things that were on your bucket list. Um, right. I feel free. Right. Uh, I can do whatever I want because I am 40 freaking six. Oh, so wow. Pwede yung pagbawalan yung ganon. Right. And you can say whatever you want, not that you have not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can say and do whatever I want because I am 40 freaking six. No. <laughs> <laughs> and what is love like in your mid 40s now that you know yourself you have set yourself sufficient self-reliant you're not needing anyone economically or otherwise i know feeling i feel free Tama. i can choose who i want to be with if i want to be with with some with somebody for the long for a long time or if i don't want to be with that person i am not nakatali to anything because i can take care of myself hindi ko kailangan right. ng got my children and i'm i've been able to um support my children successfully i think right so, uh, right I'm not afraid so did you never have this parang uh, rescue complex because I think many Pinays, even if in this day and age of feminism, there's still Pinays who want to be rescued so that they don't have to work so hard anymore. And uh, yung ganun, did you never ever have that kind of? No, okay. Uh, because It was Bing Loisaga who said this a long time ago, back in the 90s. Bagong wow. artist lang ako. I had, I was a guest at Sang Linggo na po sila, and they were going to have lunch. Sa sinaman lang ako. Halika, may din sama ka sa amin. And on the table was, hmm, Agot was there. Bing was there, okay. and I think Ami Perez was there. And we were talking about, they were talking about something. And I, I asked them a question about, me wanting to uh, buy my first home, my okay. condo. And I said, How old were you then? How old were you then? When? 21. 21. Wow, okay. I was in the industry at 20. Eh. So okay. 21, 22, thereabouts. Uh, and then... And then I said, natatakot ako paano kung wala, ako, wala pala akong career tapos hindi ko mabayaran, magkautang lang ako sa banko and I don't like that. Right. Sabi ko ng Loisaga, Hindi ka naman tanga, di ba? Gagawa ka ng paraan para bayaran yun, di ba? Ay ko, oo. Hindi talaga ako tanga, hindi ako tamad. Ayun, yun, yun. Mababayaran mo yan. Ang galing. Stayed with me. Na parang, oo, gagawa at gagawa ako ng paraan dahil hindi ako tanga at hindi ako tamad. Right. So everything that I did, everything that I, 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 um, feel like if it's a uh, anything that I'm going to do that feels like a jump 
Right. Kailan sabi mo kailangan dapat buo yung loob mo and that you're going to do something about it if it fails. Right. Which is so why think, Yeah, this has been my motto. Right. Which is why you have been steadily working <laughs> for 24 years on over 50 television shows. Oh my god, in 30 movies. Huh? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mina <laughs> pala. Tanda ko na. Tuloy lang. Mm -hmm. How long do you think like what Divasi at the guy, she's still working, and how old is she? She's in her 60s. 70 something, I think. Right. And I uh, read somewhere or watched one of your interviews where you said, she said something like, Sana, hindi na, ano, parang, Sana I don't have to work anymore, or something like that. She's at uh, the guy. Uh, mm -hmm. May ba parang something like that. And then parang, you said, bak bakit naman? Yeah. Parang she said, hindi na daw siya muna magtatrabaho dapat. Kung hindi, if not for this role. Sabi ko, ha? Teka muna. Tinanggap ko to dahil nandiyan ka eh. Huwag na mo sabihin hindi ka. Huwag na mo sabihin na hindi ka na mag-work. Eh, paano oh. na? <laughs> right. And But sometimes, go ahead. Oh, I don't, I just don't know if, me, I don't know. For myself. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna ask. For you, what do you foresee? I mean, does it still, if not for the income, does it still fulfill you artistically in that way? Or when a role, um, oh, there's the cat. Okay. Pangalan itong pusang ko, nakalimutan ko. Ago at Sena. <laughs> oh, uy, sandali lang. Anyway, um, halimbawa, dumating yung Bell Dolor. <laughs> yung dumating yung Bell Dolor, I, I, how can you say no to something? Right, like right. So I don't want to say na I'm only going to work until I am 50 or what right. have you. Right. And I guess when you know it's one th when things when something interesting hmm, comes my way, right, and I have the time and the energy and I feel like I can do it, right, I will keep on saying yes. But if maku compromise any part of me, my family, my children, whatever, right. then I'm not afraid also to say no. Right. That's the power of being in this age. <laughs> yes. yes. I love it. I love, love, love. I'm enjoying right. it. So how has the lockdown been for you? Uh, besides the family bonding, I, we all witnessed like your edible gardening, your edible garden has made it to news programs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's more. Sabi nila may farm daw ako. Sabi pa ulit-ulit ako, wala nga akong farm. Meron lang ko ang lupa. Nilagyan ko lang siya ng lechugas. <laughs> ang farm, may lilili nga farm. Ano ba? <laughs> so why did you get into it? And tell us all about it. Anong mga tanim mo? Ah, I have bahay kubo. I have the oh. vegetables sa song bahay kubo. Oh, uh, as in pag kinanta mo, nandun lahat. Uh, well, wala naman yung bataw, patani, wala, wala akong ganun. Kundol, patola, wala. <laughs> you know, you have tomatis, you have uh, radish, I have my romaine lettuce, I have ampalaya, um, you've got your herbs. Stuff that we need at home, okra, right. along, stuff that we eat. Um, I've... Ever since, maski nasa condo pa lang ako, meron talaga akong, I would oh, have okay. pots, of, pots of edible uh, food, uh, plants. Right. Yeah, so when I moved to Cavite, and there was an empty, right next to our house is an empty lot anyway, we asked permission from the owner if we could use it. Oh. And, naman kami. So it's I, I, not the entire thing, but you know, just a portion of it. So I've been right. planting there. Um, and then, nung, nung nag pumutok yung um, Taal volcano erupted, oh. that whole thing was buried in ash. Oh my gosh. I had to start over. 
And then the pandemic happened. Then I had more time to tend to my vegetables. So I think that was the, this during the pandemic was the most successful for me because I was there every day early, um, early in the morning at like 5.30 in the morning. I'm there already outside. And then I go back out at around 3 o'clock in the afternoon to do a little bit more work. So yeah, that has been very, very fulfilling. And I think it, I inspired, I was able to inspire a lot of people with it. Right. Um, and which is a good thing, right? Right. Because we are right. supposed to do this. We are supposed to be plant our own food if we can. Right. And it's all organic. Yes. No pesticides. Yes. No pesticides. Right. Um, yeah. So sometimes when I eat my gulay, my caterpillar. <laughs> 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 it's a good sign. Natawa yeah. ko in one interview when you said, minsan yung mga caterpillar kinakain yung pet shy ko. Oops, let me rephrase that. Bok shy. <laughs> Which is true. They mga... love, love the pet shy because matamis kasi yata yung leaves eh, or yung bagong sprouts. So, always caterpillars all over them. <laughs> and your like kids, that. naman, they like vegetables. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that must be so frustrating for you. Yeah, very, very frustrating. This Western diet business, I hate it. What do you mean? It's killing everybody. The Western diet, hamburger. Ah, okay. The pizza, na hindi Italian style pizza, ha? Yung, okay. The, all Fast these unhealthy concoctions, it, it's. Terrible. So, yun ang kalaban ko. So, I, I, I've been cooking a lot also, especially in the pandemic. I, I, um, I cook all our meals. I cooked all our meals. Okay. And then, so they skip the gulay. <laughs> well, you do na mo. Lalagyan mo na ng, doon mo na ipapasok yung mga pagulay-gulay mo. You know, you just hide them in dishes. But what's nice is that we went around the world. I got okay. to try dishes that I always wanted to um, make myself. So, yeah, and so there were days that nasa Mexico kami, may days na nasa oh, India. Oh, okay. Creative. American, may Italian, may Chinese, mayroong Vietnamese night, mga gano'n. So, yeah. <laughs> Korea. <laughs> eh, Earlier, naman, go ahead. Pag, pag nagluluto ka every day, parang you run out of ideas. Tama. So, for 23 days in your lock-in taping, hindi ka nagluto. Nagluto. Ah, oh, nagluto ka for the crew. Anong niluto mo? Hindi for the crew. Ah, for <laughs> yourself. My classmates. <laughs> Pero we would, share the, we would share our food to the neighbors. Um, I had to bring uh, mga niluto ko na naka froze, uh, that I froze beforehand. Okay. And then I also bought from neighbors. Kasi di ba nauso ngayon yung during the pandemic, you're buying food. Yeah. Uh, every Started cooking and selling to their neighbors. So right. I bought stuff that I liked because I was worried because I don't eat pork or beef. So I was right. worried that uh, mga days na wo, hindi ako makakain. Uh -oh. So I brought na yung for the entire stay. Right. Yeah, and, and during your lock-in, you work out? Ka rin? Yes. What mm -hmm. workout mo na portable workout? Well, may dala akong yoga mat and a few dumbbells and my um wow. my Pilates ball. So I would do bar or yoga. Wow. Hit or I tried this yoga. It's called booty yoga. B U T I. Okay. Oh my god! If you okay. look it up, it's so funny. Okay. It's, it's funny because you're doing contemporary dance. You're doing oh contemporary. Oh my gosh! And you're you're twerking all the time. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Sabi ng mga housemates ko, ang ginagawa mo? <laughs> Buti yoga. <laughs> to twerk, twerk ako <laughs> We were talking earlier about your uh, foiled fitness vlogging career na nung umpisa ng lockdown, you were trying to do workout videos. And then anong nangyari? Kwento mo. Hindi <laughs> ka ba sundo ng videographer ko? Yung anak ko? Masyado siyang ano, um, he's got his own style because he, he's 15. And they watch YouTube all the time, right? And there's this style for for YouTube na parang, it's very 
Anong tawag mo doon? Maraming nangyayari, daming gulo, ganyan, ganyan. And he wanted to edit the videos that way. And I told him, anak, my audience is not 15 years old. My audience is in the 40s, 40s, or even more. <laughs> ano ko confused niya? Ano ba ko ba sa kanya una? Hindi pwede. Di ba nakakagulo kasi yung, you know, instead of saying, um, uh, 20 reps, so doon 20 reps, 3 sets. Halimbawa, ganun. Doon, nagpa-flash-flash kung saan-saan. So, <laughs> <laughs> Hindi ko na yung ganyan. Tapos mag-aaway kami. Pati sa mga style ng mga shots. Sabi ko, wow. steady, steady ka lang anak kasi nahihilo na eh. Ako nga, nahihilo na. <laughs> Kaya nanonood. So, kasi, kami <laughs> nangyayari. <laughs> so shelved due to creative differences. Ako, hindi tayo po. Nagkakaroon lang tayo. Nagkakaroon tayo ng gap. <laughs> and, spe- and speaking of gap, Kumusta naman mag-raise ng teenage boy? I heard it's like a very difficult hormonal stage, according to my friend. Uh, it's fun. It's I think it's fun. And my relationship with my boys, I which I keep telling them, sabi ko kailangan honest tayo. Uh, wag tayo nagsisinungaling. Although, although, of course, bilang mga bata sila, nagsisinungaling sila. Pero no one <laughs> So um, I wanted I wanted to be as casual as possible whenever we talk about sensitive issues. I don't want them wow. to have any um, parang apprehensions when they open right. up to me. Like kanina, on our way here, me and Tomas, papunta kami dito sa Quezon City. Ang topic namin is about uh, political views. Okay, good. Uh, mga, and then? Kung naisip niyo kung leftist ba daw siya, yung mga gano'n. Oh my. <laughs> Tapos umabot kami. So, ano, politics of gender. Wow. Ang galen. And then, I was in the car, parang sabi ko, I have tong usapan namin, no, tungkol sa mga yung pansexual. Sabi <laughs> ko, what happened to normal conversations? <laughs> but I'm enjoying it because, you know, I, I, right. I, I get to see my children's points of view, point of views and then right. and how they analyze things and how they think about their um, the current situation. So I know that they are in touch and right. that they've not, uh, they have not drowned themselves in social media. Right. And they're aware of what's going on around them. Right. And it's good because they are the generation that will save the world that we destroy. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. So now you see all these kids just doing selfies and just being aware only of themselves and not anything going on around you're just like what's going to happen right puro, puro, selfie, puro na lang kayo puro na lang kayo nagsasayaw and looking at yourself while dancing <laughs> <laughs> but i think on the other hand sobrang socially conscious socially aware din sila di ba? parang so, they were born into a world where it's not cool to do so many things that were okay in our time well there's always going to be something like that there's always something na um okay sa at and hindi okay sa kanila i mean you know right. Well, right. what was important here is that we raise um better versions right ourselves um, right so i can that that i cannot always use um but some my children i cannot always say na during my time we were like this Kasi, right. Si, Iba na. Your time. Nga right. naman. Nga, nga pala Such a dead. different time. So, yeah. Right. I always tell my uh, female friends with sons that the power to change the next generation of men is in your hands. Yes. So, that is the case for you. So, what are you teaching them about life and maybe women and how to treat women? That I started, uh, make sure of. Uh, I started with chivalry. Okay. Sabi ko hindi siya pwede mag out ma outdate anak hindi pwede. <laughs> anak, kailangan it's very kailangan present. It's like why? Sabi ko because it's nice. Why? Because it's nice. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Parang there are some things kasi na it, it there, there's no logical explanation. It's just because it feels right, and it's because it's a nice gesture. A nice right. thing, like 
opening the door, helping right. somebody carry stuff. I mean, these right. days, they will be obsolete. Right. So what do. about how to treat women? I'm sure they can see from your example that as a single mother, they can see. I Eva. hope, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that, uh, that when it comes to the the women that are going to come into their lives, they will, uh, I will always be in the back of their heads, I suppose. Right, about, right. I, don't, I don't want anybody to treat my mama this way, or I will treat this person this way because my mama is a woman. Or something wow. Like. You know, you're Such just hoping. You can hope, but it's totally up to them. But you can always hope. Baka naman. Such a strong role model. So what's it like to have a blended family? Because Jason also has two daughters and you have two sons. And what is that like? It's an adventure on its own. Um, girls are totally different from boys. Um, but the thing about me and Jason is this. When we decided to live together, our children are already teenagers. Okay. So parang, may style na ako ng parenting. May style si Jason ng parenting. So I'm right. not going to parent your girls and don't parent my boys. Kasi right. if we try to change each other's styles pa. Right. Mag-aaway lang tayo. Right. If it if if this style works for your family, and if I like it, then I will adapt it. Right. If there are some things na no okay yata if I do do it this way. Let's just keep it at that. Because you cannot change anymore anybody's um ano yun, parang anybody's style ko ano nakasanayan nila. You can't change that anymore just because you came into the picture. Right. So mabuti na rin na in your 40s na kayo nag nag ano nag sobra po. sobrang mabuting mabuting mabuti. You know talaga itong pagiging matanda eh marami <laughs> Marami pala siyang okay. <laughs> ano yung mga ayaw mo about it? Besides, Sa pagiging matanda? Oo. Or iniiwasan para hindi maging that kind of matanda. I think ang ang ayoko it's so ang bilis lang. Oo nga. Ano <laughs> noon? Para pagkatapos sa bangs. Agad. Ano sa 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Oo nga. <laughs> masyado pa ako, masyado pa ako nag-e-enjoy. Di ba sabi nila, you know, time goes by when you're when you're having fun. Masyado pa ako nag-e-enjoy ng bilis-bilis niya. <laughs> Tama. Sabi ng nagmamadali to 50. Oo. And knowing that, how have you changed the way you live or probably uh, try to live life or appreciate life? Is that why you've decided to slow down? I'm not slowing down. Sorry. I, or... I'm trying to do as much as I can now. Okay. Okay. Walang slowing time. down uh, works, girl. Oh, slowing down so works so I can accommodate all the things that I've, right. I still have yet to do. Right. Uh, Such as? Such as traveling more. Right. I made a list of the places that I've been to. And I love to travel. Here in the here in uh, locally and abroad. I, I I don't buy signature bags. I'm not that right. I will spend my money on new adventures. Right. Me too. The, what 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 places are still on your bucket list? Nakakainis. I made a list eh. Hindi oh. na yung list. Ba't ganun? Tapos ngayon, na-delay na pa. Oo, ganun. Di ba, nakakainis. Pero buti na lang kasi, uh, before the pandemic, Jason and I were able to travel to Africa. So, okay. so which is a, one, of the, yeah. one of the things that, yeah. Okay. Yung parang, yes, big, right. big, big check yan. Um, there's still so many things. Um, I'm not done. I'm not even done with Asia because I still want to go. In Japan, because it's not a place that you can just go to once or twice. Right. But because that whole archipelago, that you, there's so many places that you want to go to. Whoops. I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> Salido siya. Hindi naman po siya ito. What do you call this? Uh, I, like, I, I, I still have yet to see the south of right. Japan. Right? I have yet to surf. Pwede ako rin. 
I have yet to serve Japan. Right. Uh, um, even Hawaii, it's not a place that you can just go to. Ano ba? Once. Kailangan balikan mo Hawaii twice kasi islands eh. So, yeah. So, Asia, I'm not done. Um, I haven't gone to South America. My goodness. Right. I haven't, I haven't finished Europe. Right. Dami dami pa ka. Dami dami. Ang gastos gastos nun. Pilipinas. <laughs> well, Pilipinas. I think. I I want to go to Abra. Okay. Yeah, and Sulu. Actually, wow. dalawang points. Yung dalawang up and down points natin. I have to do to that. Right. O gawa ka na ng mga travel vlog. Diba? I'm geographer ko nga masungit eh. Hindi eh. <laughs> <laughs> ko naman pwedeng gawin geographer si Jason. <laughs> Nation talent doon. Tama, pag-aralan mo na lang. Baka yung isang anak. <laughs> si Lucas, baka nga, baka nga. Yan, because Lucas is a foodie as well. So yun, oh. I can imagine already um, traveling with that kid more and eating more with him. Wow. It's just, because he loves Japanese food, as in it's crazy for it. So the first time I brought them to Japan last year, um, I brought them to a sushi place. And he or I ordered toro for him. Wow. And he put it in his mouth. He's like, mm, wow, it's so good. And then, miyak. Oh Yosha. my gosh. Parang ratatouille. I know you worked hard. Naiyak ako. I know you worked hard oh. to bring me here. And oh this my gosh. Is, it's miyak siya. Oh my gosh. Nakakayak na. Oh, my gosh. Don't cry. Don't cry. Sabi niya. And you thank you, thank you, mom. Really, really, thank you. This this sushi is so good. Na iyak siya sa ano? <laughs> sa toro. Sa sarap. <laughs> oh, sa sarap. Parang siya nasa ratatouille. Yung oh, niyak. <laughs> so, so you you really yeah. raised them well. So oh, na iyak na tuloy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Lucas. Good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> so Tomas. She's interested in filmmaking and Lucas she, she, in well, he's, he's probably Lucas is probably going to be um, in the culinary world, I think. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Think so what's your, what's your uh, ultimate hope and dream for your kids? Oh, just to be happy. Okay. That's Good. it. Right. Na sila kung paano nila marating yon. But be happy. Um, my boys kasi, they know that I will not really help them financially. Oh, that's good to know. I want them to do it on their own because I did it on my own. And if I, sabi ko sa if I was able to do it at that time, kaya nyo rin dapat. Because wow. you're, you're, you're better than me. Wow. Wow, very character building. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, <I'm a> spoil. <laughs> and what is your ultimate hope and dream for the Filipino whose rights you are very active in fighting for and whose welfare you are very vocal about I just hope there's making somebody, it better? I just hope we find a way. To make things better right. because right now it's such a mess and Agreed. we really need a miracle uh, or better leaders better for better everything better we, we need better citizens as well right Sorry. the city is what it is because of the citizens not because of the leaders right we are in charge. We are. Tayo yung boss. Dapat ng leaders kuno na ito. So let's find people who are worthy of positions, are worthy to lead us. And, and what my read, my hopes, and my hope really is for people to um, put better importance in educating the young. Uh, right. Right now, I feel that there's a deliberate conspiracy to make our citizens more dumb. Parang nga. I hate it. 
'di ba? Ganun yung feeling yeah. parang kabobo tayo lalo oh. Sadya ito eh. Sadya ba yan or bobo lang sila? <laughs> Ko alam. But you know, I really want to uh, yeah, emphasize na sana we have, we 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 educate our children more, ourselves more, not just our children, right. ourselves. Right. <sighs> And how can we start? How can each one in their own humble way start doing that? I don't know. Sorry, I don't have the answer for it. I can do <laughs> my own children and, and of course myself in educating myself further. I'm looking into studying. I want to, you know, and I'm also I'm also always trying to learn something new. And right. I can only I can only say this for about myself. I don't know how people how I don't know how right. to start. I I guess just learn, ask questions, don't accept things without blindly. Because or this person is Uso or just because the name sounded familiar and you're going to go. Got to do your own research. Right. And to vote. Oh my God. And please register. You need to vote. Register and vote. Wag nang tamad. Tama. Tama. They need to be counted. Everybody needs to be counted. True. Yay. And thank you for helping spread the message through your oh, platform. No, what I'm going to, I'm going, that's going to be my new project. I'm going to talk about that more or encourage yes. people more. Not just in social media, but you know, people that I, people that I work with or I encounter. Right. I'm gonna do great, that. great idea. So we have so many comments oh. from a few people, such as <laughs> our friend. <laughs> Iba ka talaga, Dizon. <laughs> from this hot <laughs> with a... Wait, ba't ako kumutay ng ilaw? I'm going to go on that way to brown out. Totoo, brown out? Hindi, hindi, hindi. Sorry. Hindi. I think I kicked it. I'm sorry. Okay, go continue. Pinatay ng kusa. I admire you, Mylene, for not being my artist. Wow, thank you. Mga fans. Oh, fan mo from Cadetes. Ang tagal na niyan. Oh, acting workshop during Star Circle. What? Oh my goodness. Ano nangyari? Ba't hindi mo tinuloy? Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, tuloy mo daw. Oh. oh, kada group talaga. Grabe yung fans mo from way back. Grabe, no? Ay, ano to? May, may letter daw siya. Oh, oh. Ah, oh my gosh. Grabe, ang tagi mo siya maalala sa akin, 1995. Ito <laughs> <laughs> ni Mary Walter yan. <laughs> Baka ikaw nang maging Mary Walter of yours. <laughs> Panahon pa ni Apa Umpin yan. <laughs> oh my God. Si Apa Umpin kasi parang pinin ko inabot sa si Magellan. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> diba? Because he knows so many people. He's done so many things. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> Uh, okay, here's the corny part. Parting words. Oh, parting words. Parting ah, words. Parting words. Go out and vote. Tama. Got Register mo na and then if vote. Register. If you're not registered, go out and vote. Or if you have registered and you are, you know that you're going to vote, talk to other people you you feel that you need to talk to, and then spread right. it. Spread this news that dai malapit na po ang butuhan kailangan niyo na po mag-register right. <laughs> ano kakalimutan ninyo oo at yes, bakit kailangan ng bumoto many people will say it's not going to make a difference it's not going to make not, a difference if a lot of people do it right right but if we all do it then it is going to make a difference look at america right yes huh? make that our inspiration Thank you so much, Mylene, for spending time. And thank you to the cat behind you for making a guest appear. 
<laughs> Salamat <laughs> sa chikahan and good luck with Actor and thank you your soap and your all your future projects. Thank you. And to raising such great kids. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. This has been TikTok, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.